EA Sports within the game. He just took off on that one, and he might have just won the game for him. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we are at Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Chicago Bears. Here's the punter, Trenton Gill, now to do the honors, and off we go here at Soldier Field. Pulls it in at the 13. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Hurts throwing right away. Open is Watkins. He's got him. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. And even 20 yards and a first down on the game's very first play. Here's Hurts to throw. Rolling to his left. Open man. That's Devontae Smith. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. But Charles, did it seem like to you that maybe they were a little worried about his running prowess there? Because everybody kind of froze when he got outside the pocket and they were able to throw it for the first down. Absolutely, and you work all week getting ready for a game and you know that the potential is there for him to run it, but you better take care of those receivers downfield. They can hurt you first. Second down and four. Hurts steps away. 
And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Hurts. And that is incomplete. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. try and throw for it with Hurts. And this is caught. It's Brown. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. Brown, 34 yards. And the Eagles' decision to go for it pays off with six points. They're the favorite, no question. And when they score like that on the opening drive to set the tone, you're the underdog on the other bench. That's hard, isn't it? Yeah, because you can't bring the home crowd into it because you're counting on that to be a part of your equalizer, ride their momentum. But you have to give them something to cheer for. So now what you're worried about is they're better than we are. We can't get going. Are we about to get blown out? Good news, still a long way to go. will throw it's caught and it's eight nothing so what do you make of that you go on the road you score the opening drive touchdown opt to go for two and all of a sudden they're up eight zip yeah this wasn't a decision that they made right here and right now they made this decision during the week hey if we get the ball and score right away let's show them that we feel like we're superior go for two and really put the pressure on them now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From the six. The lane opens here, he's past the 30. And he's all the way up across the 40 and down at the 42, great return. Well, he gave up the first touchdown of the game, but how about the response? Big time return, now it's their chance to try and put points on the board. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 42. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Well, they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole, and then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A shotgun snap, Fields. And this will be caught by Mooney. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. So after several rushes to start the game, Charles, they go to the air there and get a nice completion. Nice mix up on the play call and right establish the running game, make the defense think you're going to do it again, and then hit them over the top. Now you've got them betwixt and between. They don't know which way you're going to come at them. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. On second down, a run with Herbert. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. Going to be some contact going on. 
This is caught. Yeah, they're into the end zone, but it's not verified yet. Hold on, there is a flag down. A costly penalty there. A lineman got downfield, and for the moment, that cost him six points. One quarter down, eight nothing the score. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Field's going to get this one out on the perimeter. And the Bears are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A very important third down conversion right there because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. you got to make it pay off with six. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. David Montgomery. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Bears have come back to make it a two-point game. And the kick is no good. How about that? He misses on the extra point, and the score holds at 8-6. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Pulls it in at the 13. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, called it the 26. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Well, the football changing hands here, and as this offense takes a field, Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. Hurts throw taken in by Watkins here. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Throwing is Hurts. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. To throw again on second down. Hurts. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Uh, the quarterback got away with one there. Looked like he was in line for a pick, but instead it's knocked harmlessly to the turf. Sets up to throw it. The Sanders has got it complete. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That third down conversion, good for 23. First and ten, it's Hurts. They'll roll him out right. This is complete to Watkins on the slam. And he's going to be marked down just outside the ten. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. The first down run got 5. Here's second and 5.
Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Touchdown, Eagles! Grant Calcaterra, a five-yard touchdown as his guys are able to extend their lead. Well, down in this part of the field, CD, they love to get him the football, and right there, a little pitch and catch for the score. Yeah, and he's such a weapon when it's that close to the end zone, and they love being able to rely on him to make those kind of catches. Talk about trust, talk about confidence, and he produces. They'll look to throw. Complete at the one. And they are three for three on two-point conversions as he is into the end zone for the score. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. And the Bears' hands team able to pounce on it and get the football. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. First and 10 here. And you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Back to throw. Fields. Man open here is Jones. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense, and he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Muck that down for a win in the defense's column. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield and man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bears. Justin Fields fighting Darnell Mooney. And the Bears get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. This time, the extra point up and good. And the lead is down to a field goal. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. Taken from about the 12. And he'll take it up past the 25 at the 26-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And some room to maneuver. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon.
Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. But gutsy call there. Yang's at the locker room with a lead. Tried the onside kick. It didn't work. And you just wonder what the gain was there. They were already in the lead. They were in control of the game. They may have given momentum now to their opponent and maybe kick-started things going in the opposite direction. They'll start the third quarter here on the ground. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one. And it almost felt like on that first run, they are trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. From the gun on third down, Fields. That's complete to Mooney. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And he gets it down close to the 10-yard line. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. They give him two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. On first and 10, it's Herbert. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the 9 to the 8. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. Here's second and goal operating from the 8-yard line. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. David Montgomery, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bears have taken the lead here in this third quarter. Santos able to tack on the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. A fairly short kick from the 14 and up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. the give to Sanders and now Hurts rolling to his right. Well, he was hit as he threw it there and that one winds up incomplete. Understanding he's just down one possession trying to make something happen by extending the play but the coverage downfield was excellent. He escaped and bought some time but that one goes incomplete. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. He'll buy some time right. Firing quickly here and that's complete. Five yards. Now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. They'll look to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know there's usually a nice comfort zone and throw into the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. Yeah. 
They're going on fourth down with Hurts. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And the offense is going to get the ball back. After all that, heck, it'll be a first down. Well, do you want to unpack that one, or do you want me to? You're the boss. We get the interception, then really, he's just too loose with the football on the return, and he coughs it right back up the other way. I've seen this happen in an NFL game, and boy, did it cost someone. San Francisco at Atlanta a few seasons ago. Atlanta throws the interception. San Francisco runs it back. Game is salted away. Fumbles on the return. Atlanta gets it back, drives down, kicks the game-winning field goal. <laughs> How about that? And a crazy situation we just saw there. Back to the ground, this time Montgomery. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Here's a give to Herbert. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Now a timeout called for by the defense. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Now a timeout called for by the offense. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. I can't believe they let you play. I can't believe they even let you play. Throwing on third down, Fields. And it's caught. Touchdown. Cole Komet, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Bears are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Santos with the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. And they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A fairly short kick from the 14. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And yeah, the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. It's a second down run with Sanders. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. He's going deep for Brown. A leap, and he's got it. He got it. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Now flags come in here. Looked like one of the Eagles might have moved. The false start backs him up five, first and 15. Play action. Here's Hurts. Open, and he's got him. That's Smith for the Philadelphia touchdown. Devontae Smith, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Eagles have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. They'll try and throw for it. And this is caught. They got it. And that could be an important two points. It gets them back within a field goal. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he 
And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down. Now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? Because they've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack, or do you dial it back a little bit to try and protect this lead? Well, my cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right, but I do think if they can stay aggressive and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. From the 27, Fields. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. The Bears on third down, a perfect four for four thus far. This is third and nine to throw his fields. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Gets it out quickly here to the left flat. And he is going to have the Bears first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Give them 11 on the game there. And it'll be first down Bears. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And a six-yard game gets them right around the 43. Now a whistle and a timeout defensively. Trying to stop it, and they do with two seconds to go prior to the two-minute warning. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. A handoff for Herbert. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Less than two to play with just a field goal separating these two sides. They'll go again with Herbert. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Here's Herbert. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. They'll run here with Herbert. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. Doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he will have the Bears first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. Well, we all 
Paul just got a heck of a show, partner. This was a close game for a long time. Close at half, close down the stretch. Home team finds a way to get it done, a narrow victory. Yeah, they finished with a flourish, didn't they? Because there were times where each side looked like they were the better team out there. And the outcome was in doubt for much of this game. Every snap seemingly more important than the previous one. Great effort from the guys visiting. But in the end, how about those guys in their home stadium finding a way to win? So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Bears get the win at home as we say so long from Soldier Field.